When I was very young, I was fascinated by the two mirrors in my parents' bedroom. One mirror was mounted on the wall, and the other mirror was mounted on the top of the dresser. The mirrors face each other, so when I looked at myself in one mirror, I would also see the image of me in the other mirror. I would stand there transfixed, watching my m image bounce back and forth and forth and back. It seemed to go on forever. There were hundreds of me. And no matter how hard I tried to find the last me, I never could. The reflection went on and on. And I believe this is the important first step in understanding any fight. It's never one-sided. One party did something, and that something was reflected back. Then that reflection was reflected back, and then reflected back again and again. Now it may happen at lightning speed, but ultimately involves many reflections back and forth. Like those two mirrors facing each other, the reflections bounce back and forth almost endlessly, but with one distinction. As a young child, when I looked into the two mirrors facing each other, I saw an accurate reflection of myself bouncing back and forth. But that's not what happens when a couple fight. Each person has their own biases, emotions, and sensitivities, and we each interpret things in our own way. And particularly when things get emotionally charged, each person's perception is very different. And so it's much more like a funhouse mirror at a carnival. The image is distorted. And each time the image is reflected back and forth, it becomes altered and transformed. And in the blink of an eye, things devolve to the point where we can't even agree on what was said, who said it, and even whether it was said or not. Both sides are left wondering what happened and how did we get here. 